At noon this morning, it is a story you'll only see right here on CBS 42. A mother wants answers after learning that her daughter was beat up at Winona High School. And as you can see, it was all caught on camera. CBS 42 News reporter Alex Finney is live at the Birmingham School this morning. And Alex, you've been looking into this story since it happened last week. What have you learned so far? Well, good morning, Art. We do know that two students have been suspended, and we also learned that a parent was allegedly involved in that altercation, of course, taking the severity of this incident to a whole new level. We have pictures, we have video backing up the claims made by that mother that her daughter was beat up on campus. But warning to our viewers, what you're about to see is a little graphic. I know my child voice as so I'm hearing my baby screaming, get off of me. What started as a war of words between classmates quickly turned into an all-out brawl in the schoolyard. She is kicking her, kicking my baby in her head, in her face. Video pictures show the graphic fight at Winona High School on December 15th. And mother Jennifer Trice shows us her daughter's injuries. I mean, you could tell she was like she was kicked in the face. Not only kicked, but also allegedly punched and dragged by a parent who got involved in the brawl. I'm watching the video and I'm thinking maybe it's a, another child. Um, one of her friends says, no, that's the girl's mom. And now this mom wants answers. Trice says the school never contacted her about the incident or her daughter's injuries. It wasn't until she saw this video that she learned what happened. I was hoping at the school we would have had a conference. I want to sit down, you know, what, what happened? Was it something that provoked you to jump in or, you know, what? What, what happened? Trice immediately filed a police report accusing both the mother and daughter of assault. And you can see the mother actually standing over my daughter's head, just kicking, just kicking. She hopes that shedding light on this fight will hopefully prevent future incidents down the road. I don't, I don't want people to think that this is okay, and I do not want this situation to be swept under the rug. Now, I have not gotten a response back from this school to find out whether or not they actually contacted Trice following uh, her daughter's injuries. Now, we also know school officials have issued a trespass warning against that parent involved in the fight, meaning that she's not allowed to step foot on school grounds while the investigation is ongoing. As for those two students, they will remain suspended pending a hearing. We are still waiting to hear back from police to find out if that mother involved was actually arrested. We are live in Birmingham this morning. Alex Finney, CBS 42 News.